joining me. This is Liz and thanks for coming back for another page of Diary of a Happy Hooker. I'm Liz. Did I say that? Anyway, <laughs> now you know at least once that I'm Liz and today is Miscellaneous Monday. This is a day where I show you uh, any acquisitions, any life goings on, things like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Still have a little bit of a cough yet, but it's gotten better. Very happy about that. And um, yeah, so <sighs> what's going on this past week? Well, there's work. Okay, so we covered that. <laughs> Done. Covered. Um, not a whole lot went on this week. Uh, my youngest son was in quarantine this week, so he did school virtually. He wasn't like sick, sick, you know, like deathly ill. He was, um, he like had a cold. So, uh, he did online school this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, hung out in the basement, isolating himself. Uh, our basement's finished, by the way. We did not, you know, we we did not relegate him to a, a dungeon. <laughs> it's it's finished and it's nice. Um, so he was down there most of the week. Um, Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, we got hit pretty hard by that storm. Uh, that came through here. Uh, there was a tornado that touched down about half hour-ish from here, half hour east of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the winds here were significant and caused damage. Um, I'll post pictures up in here of that. Um, we have four trees down and one of our neighbors next to us has four trees down. Sorry, my phone just dinged. I apologize. That may happen. I should probably turn the other one off. There it went again. Okay, I muted it. Is there anything urgent? I don't think so. All right. Oh, <clears throat> nothing urgent. Just ads. Yay. So that was Wednesday. Thursday, I stayed home from work to help get the yard cleaned up because there were big branches down and I had fully intended on starting to get some of the downed trees, <clears throat> excuse me, cleaned up and put away, but that didn't happen because the weather continued. It was really windy and really cold, and then it started snowing on top of everything. So I didn't work out in that, uh, waited until that passed, and then went outside and got a whole lot of work done. But not the tree, not the fallen trees. Um, and then Friday, um, I can't remember what happened Friday. Oh yes, I do. No, I think Friday was pretty quiet. I was just ready for the week to be done. And then Saturday, nope. I take that back. Friday. <laughs> Friday. We found out that um, we, we'd had some damage to some gutters on our roof. And so we called the company that we have our gutters through. And um, they said they would send somebody out to look at them. And... They did, and whoever, and I don't even know who was here because I was at work and Randy was at work, 
and Ava was at a friend's house and <clears throat> excuse me Derek was home but he was on quarantine but he was home in case something happened um whoever came over brought a developmentally disabled person with them who decided to come into our house and move things around our house <clears throat> which apparently is normal behavior for her and we also found out that one of our christmas presents is missing for one of our family members so we're working on figuring out what happened there <laughs> and we're very frustrated that this person thought it was okay to bring a developmentally disabled person with them on a job where they couldn't give them the attention they obviously needed um so by and large i mean it wasn't a disaster it was just frustrating um and i'd had enough <laughs> of my week and i took myself and my daughter and my husband out for dinner to texas roadhouse because as i told him I'm really tired of taking care of things not right now I need someone to take care of me for a little bit I need to refill my cup because there ain't nothing left to give on this thing right now out of this thing right now so I did I went up for dinner and we went to Texas Roadhouse and I had steak and I had shrimp and I had a drink <laughs> <sighs> because this girl needed some some TLC so, I also did some retail therapy while I was out <clears throat> because <sighs> when Michaels is right next door to Texas Roadhouse, you have to go to Michaels. <laughs> so, I did pick up a few things. Um, fair warning, there's probably going to be crinkling because things are still in bags. But this one is not in a plastic bag. And I am in love. And I wish I had gotten out sooner and gotten Karen Cloud Cakes. Now this is in the color Cloud Gray. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sure you guys know all about these by now. They're size four. They want a four and a half millimeter hook, four and a half millimeter needles. You can wash and dry. It 0.5 ounces, 240 grams, 760 yards, 695 meters, 100% polyester, and this stuff is so stinking soft. Like, I mean, this, this cake, I could sleep on this cake as a pillow. It is soft. It's squishy. It is soft to the touch, and I want this on me all the time. <laughs> So, I decided to start making something with it. Oh, here it is. I'm holding another yarn together with it. This little purple disc here. I started making a hat. But, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to tear it back and I think I'm going to make an infinity scarf cowl type item because I want to wear this more than just in the winter. The yarn I'm holding it with is this yarn here. The yarn my light sucks. I'm sorry. It is purple and gray. Kind of a silverish blue color in there. <clears throat> this is from Hobium. I bought this quite a while ago. It's 25% mohair. 75% acrylic. It's called Yarn Art Angora Active. I don't know. Mohair and acrylic, although, I mean, maybe the mohair is the, is what they're considering Angora. I don't know. Or maybe it's just so soft they called it Angora. I mean, it is pretty soft, but it's not anywhere near as soft 
as that cloud cake is. <coughs> Excuse me. This is color number 847. There's 100 grams. 3,300. No, that's not right. <sighs> I'm not sure how to read this American part label. 100 grams, 500 meters. I'm not sure how to read that other part. This part here where it's got commas instead of decimal points, maybe? I don't know. So anyway, it's made in Turkey, hand wash, dry flat, do not bleach, do not tumble dry. But <clears throat> I've already made a hat held together with this stuff with another yarn because I experimented. And I washed it on cold water delicate and did a tumble dry and it it was fine. Um it's a very thin yarn. It is a number one super fine and it lives up to that. There's a nice halo on there. I'm sure you can see that. And it is very soft. It's you can tell it's very squishy, even though there's a ton of yarn barf out of it. This actually like, came out of the middle when I was trying to find the end. Ugh, what a disaster. It'll get used. So I'm looking at making a cowl out of those. And I couldn't wait. And you'll see that again in my whips video. But I wanted to show it to you now because it's an acquisition. So the other thing I got it's going to crinkle. Come on, dang it. Ugh. I don't even want to know. Is. I got one. I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this. I got a Karen cake. Look at this thing. I know they're bigger than heads, right? But it. The color is Reef Blue, and it's got the blues and the aquas, you know, blue, teal, and silver, I guess is what I would go with, like a navy blue in there, like a medium blue, a navy blue, a teal, and a silver. I love it. It is as soft as everybody has said. Uh, you know, we all know, size six. Eight millimeter hook, machine washable, machine dryable, eight millimeter needles, healthy size six, 100% acrylic, 35.3 ounces, 1,000 grams, 1,061 yards, or 970 meters. This was part of my therapy on Saturday. <laughs> my, my, um, Retail therapy. That's what I was looking for. Retail therapy. So, <coughs> that is also very soft and very squishy. And I like it. So, another craft that I enjoy and I want to do more often is painting, uh, acrylic painting. When I talk on canvas, I have no talent, okay? I have no talent when it comes to blank slate and you make it pretty not me but i found uh, these cute kits this is a sunflower 70 percent off so that equated to about two dollars and fifty cents they were normally eight dollars american and so 70 percent off was about two dollars and fifty cents and I bought a couple of those and I found these and I bought some of these. They're magnets. These were not on sale, but they were super cute. So I grabbed a few of those and then I saw something I have never really seen before. 
but P.S. I haven't looked either. And I picked up a couple of these kits to rock art. Now these are all painted fall themed, but there's just some of them in here that you could paint um, different, like the owl here could just be, you know, something cute. And the flower could just be painted something cute. Um, but yeah, I think these would be fun. And I love the ideas with like the, the swirls and the dots and the branches and the leaves. So this is what they look like before you paint them. Just the outlines. So, um, they all come with paint in the kit, but <clears throat> I have my own paint, and I feel like it's a little better quality than that, <laughs> so I'll probably end up using that, and they all come with their own brushes. I have my own brushes. I'll probably use those. Uh, oh, sorry, fiber in the nose. Um, yesterday... I was hanging out here with Ava, and she started with a headache and a fever. Now, mind you, she's already had COVID, okay? So, um, I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting to see what was going to happen with that. And I gave her some ibuprofen, <clears throat> called the nurse line. Found out I didn't give her enough ibuprofen. So, gave her another one. And then she, you know, she responded very nicely to it. Uh, woke up today and she was great. Didn't have a headache, didn't have a fever, didn't have a bellyache, nothing. Noon hit, and I'm not even kidding you, it was like a timer went off. Noon hit, high noon, she was down. Took her into urgent care. And they said it was, you know, they weren't sure if it was another strain of COVID or if it was influenza, because that's going around too. Ugh. So, it's the wait and see game. They want to see where she's at in 48 hours. If she's better, great. If she's not, we got to take her back in. Merry Christmas, right? Just Everybody just get healthy. Merry Christmas, get healthy. <laughs> oh, so... We're just waiting to see where that goes. She won't be at school tomorrow because she has to be fever free for 24 hours before she can go back to school. Um, which is disappointing because she likes school. And yeah, and that was today. So um, I was working on some crochet stuff today. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to because doctor. And so, yeah. We just, we'll take it though, you know, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, things are not bad, things are not terrible, um, as far as the storm goes, our house was not damaged, nothing, you know, on our property was damaged, we lost a few trees, I can live with that, um, it's just, you know, the waves, they just are just coming a little quick right now, and I just need a breath. And it'll come. Um, like I said, I went and did retail therapy. Treated myself and my family to dinner. And now, I get to hang out with all of you people. And I'm very excited about that. So, that catches you up pretty good on everything. That's on my acquisitions. That's all some new stuff. Um, I've been in a few lives lately. Chatting with people. So, uh, I've seen you there. Hi. Nice to see you here. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. That tells YouTube that you want me to stick around. And that tells me that you like what I'm doing. P.S. If you don't like what I'm doing, I'm open to suggestions. Leave them down below. So until next week, I'm signing off and take care and we'll see you soon.